Russia is mounting constant attacks on Ukrainian positions in the east of the country, Kiev's deputy defense minister has said. Hanna Maliar said the situation is tense, and it is becoming difficult for Ukrainian troops. However, she added the country's forces were holding on, and some Russian units were suffering huge losses. It comes after Moscow claimed it had broken through two fortified Ukrainian defense lines on the eastern front earlier today. Russian spy balloons have been shot down over Kiev, Ukrainian officials have said. Six balloons, which could have been carrying reconnaissance equipment, were spotted over the capital, its military administration said on Telegram. It did not specify when they flew over Kiev, although air alerts were issued in the city today. Ukrainian Air Force spokesperson Yuri Anat confirmed that air raid sirens had sounded in the capital due to balloons flying overhead. So-called spy balloons have made headlines in recent days after the U.S. accused China of running a high-altitude balloon program for intelligence gathering. An American fighter jet shot down what it described as a Chinese spy balloon over the Carolina coast on February 4. Two days of NATO negotiations have ended without a deal to send fighter jets to Ukraine. The alliance has agreed to provide spare parts for tanks and ramp up ammunition production. Ukraine is firing up to 10,000 artillery shells daily, faster than the West can make them, according to NATO. Kiev wants fighter jets and long-range missiles to counter the Russian offensive and recapture lost territory. The US and Germany have in recent weeks ruled out sending jets, while Poland signaled they are open to the idea. Ukrainian Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov said he was absolutely confident Western countries will supply them. Referring to the West's change of heart over sending Leopard 2 tanks to the front line, Mr. Reznikov said impossible became possible. He continued, we vitally need aircraft as a platform to defend our sky. We have to dominate in our Ukrainian sky. It will protect our civil population, first of all, and certainly our armed forces.